From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Kent's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Well, as we did see those temperatures drop significantly over this past weekend and kind of got in those 70s and much cooler temperatures and we're getting back to warmer temperatures, a couple questions have been kind of coming my way. Number one, do we anticipate any more triple digit heat? Still too early to say yes or no, but at this point I'm not seeing it at least for the next couple of weeks, but that doesn't mean we won't see kind of one of those late season heat waves. So we'll kind of have to be on the lookout for that. The other question is how many 100 plus degree temperatures have we seen so far for the year? And so far, you know, we look at these temperatures, only 40 days of 100 plus degree temperatures. But look at the record number of highs. We can see 2017 was the highest number with 72 days of 100 plus degree temperatures for that year. Now, last year we saw 71 days, just one day shy of that record in 2017. The year before that, 2021, 69 days, and also 69 days was 1967. So we're nowhere near that. We can certainly say that this is certainly one of the cooler summers we've seen in quite some time. And as I mentioned, I don't anticipate seeing much more in the way of triple digit heat for the rest of the season. I'm not seeing it for the next couple of weeks, but again, that may change later this month. No big changes over the rest of this week. High should stay below normal. Uh, for the rest of this week and this weekend. And as I've been mentioning, no big heat waves in the forecast. Temperatures, as we go into this evening here, will drop down somewhere into the uh, low 60s. Highs for tomorrow will be much like today, around 90 degrees for that daytime high. And for the mountains, temperatures just a tad warmer than it has been, but around 80 degrees, give or take. Partly cloudy skies. So we're starting off in the mountains with sunny skies and then partly cloudy skies by the afternoon. Nothing unusual, nothing uncommon for this time of the year. Low pressure to our north and west, high pressure down to our south and east. The two all summer long been battling it out. And for the most part, they're both just kind of continuing to battle it out and keeping our temperatures below normal for this time of the year right now. Now, again, we're starting off the sunny skies by the afternoon for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies in the mountains. But you see this it's picking up on a stray sprinkle or a light shower but most of us in the mountains will be dry, not to mention, of course, the valley. Thursday, same situation. Partly cloudy skies by the afternoon. That may linger on into Friday as well. So for tonight, clear skies, upper 50s, low 60s for most of us in the valley, and in the 40s and 50s for the higher elevations. And for tomorrow, look for these temperatures to be somewhere around 90 degrees, pretty much anywhere you go in the valley. Temperatures, upper 70s to low 80s for most of us in the higher elevations. So looking at your seven-day outlook, Status quo, upper 70s through Friday for Mount Shasta, low 80s by the weekend, keeping that way into next week. Pretty much the same story for Alturas, and not to mention Susanville. How about the valley? Well, we'll average around 90 degrees here for today, all the way through Friday. Temperatures starting to warm up a little bit, but the normal high in Reading is 95. We'll be around that here for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. <laughs> 